Hello everyone, my name is Mimi and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about a clothing item, specifically a dress that is maligned by many. The dreaded bodycon dress. Is it classy or is it trashy? And I'm going to tell you that it's all in how you style it. The dress can be very, very trashy, depending on the fit, the cut, the color, the accessories you wear it with, or it can be very daytime appropriate, still sexy, but tame enough to take your kids out with you when you wear the dress, and comfortable. So the first couple of things that you have to remember about bodycon dresses is they're meant to show your body. So the fit will always be super fitted. It shouldn't be tight, but fitted. You need to be careful of some of the fabrics. The fabric is too slinky. It will show every lump and bump and every undergarment that you wear underneath it. So you wanna stay away from that kind of bodycon dress. You want ones that are jersey knit, soft, stretchy, um, not a banded dress. That's a whole nother can of worms. I'm talking about jersey knit bodycon dresses. So what you wanna look for to keep them from being trashy is the dress itself. It shouldn't be too low cut, it shouldn't be too short. Um, you shouldn't wear it overly tight. It should gently flow over your body. And one secret to getting a bodycon dress to flow over your body, because everyone has lumps and bumps and flaws, let's be real, everyone has them, is what you wear underneath. Wear it over a, a slip shorts, a very, very lightweight shaping garment. I mean, lightweight. Um, just something so that the dress flows over the garment, uh, over the undergarment, so that it doesn't cling to you. Once that bodycon dress clings to your figure, there's there's no saving it from looking trashy. Um, also, again, the fit. Make sure it's not too tight. Honestly, I I highly recommend if you put on a bodycon dress. Try it one size bigger. Um, that's a rule of thumb for me, and because oftentimes one size bigger looks a lot better. It keeps it from being trashy. It just looks and fits better. Now sometimes one size bigger can mean too big. It can mean that the whole portion of the dress is off. But often going up a size does the trick keep the dress from being too tight, too revealing, too, just too much. So, fit is number one, fabric is number one, fit is number two, number three is wear appropriate undergarments, something shaping and smoothing. Um, four, how you accessorize it to keep it from being trashy. Um, I've put together a lookbook on how I I style my bodycon dresses. I'm a very casual person. I do not wear heels. So in my lookbook, you'll see the kind of shoes that I wear with my bodycon dresses. You'll also see how I like my bodycon dresses to fit, which is not skin tight. It doesn't look like a painted on second skin. So let's get into the lookbook part of the video.
that lookbook helped to illustrate the kind of ways that you can make a bodycon dress look classy that I was trying to explain earlier. You could see how the dresses were snugly fitted but not excessively tight. And with both dresses, I'm wearing a slip underneath. I'm just a fitted mesh slip, um, a very lightweight shaping seamless mesh slip. Um, and then I paired both with flats, tennis shoes, and a pair of Taos boots. And of course, if you wanna put something over top for another layer and to help kind of disguise your figure, you can always use a denim jacket. I love denim jackets. They're so versatile. And I hope that this helps you realize that a bodycon dress can be both casual and classy. My name is Mimi and I will talk to you later. Bye! -bye.